you guys look at how look at how foggy the screen is i meant to say lens oh now it's all zoomed in hold on it's so humid here good morning you guys it is day five we're about to hit so many states i think we hit 12 already and we've got a couple more we are hitting today i'll tell you the game plan in a minute don't let what we have filmed fool you because it's not just a set up at night that we have to do we also have to take down in the morning too and we have not shown that yet so i'm going to show you guys a little bit about what that looks like with the rv which i have right Frankly decided needs a name, so everybody meet Francesca. Francesca, say hi. She been doing us good so far, no breakdowns. Okay, check this out. So we have to unplug the water every single morning, and we also have to unplug the electricity, which we plug in at night through one of these boxes. Looks like somebody already unplugged it. And Dad and Camry are going to take their first time dumping the poop. Ace and I have done it for two days straight, so it's somebody else's turn. I've changed your diapers, so I've done poop before. Nice. Okay, so Camry's currently unscrewing the lid to all of the nasty stuff. And then this thing will take it all the way to the dump area. Don't look down that tube. That looks like a horrifying, horrifying sight to see. Now they gotta empty. Here, I'll give you some ASMR. You're welcome. So fun fact, these things pop in and out. So at night we can pop them out, but then when we drive, we can pop them back in again. Which actually shrinks our space a little inside, but we still got plenty of space to walk around. This is our friend Francesca. I felt like it was fitting. I don't know why, but uh, hey to all the Francescas that are watching this video too. Today, we are hitting two more states. We are adding Virginia and we are adding Maryland to our list of accomplishments. I would like to add that once we get up like that top corner where New York and stuff is, we're gonna be knocking them out like left and right because those states are a lot smaller and it gets a little more tricky when you get to the other side of the United States because those days have like 11 to 12 hour drive days that doesn't count stopping because the states are a little bit more far apart. So I'm kind of excited to just start knocking them out left and right and get that going. But today we have some fun stuff planned. So let's go. I hopefully you can hear me because I can barely hear myself, but Bailey's asleep. So I think I'm gonna try to draw something on her face. I have like an eyebrow pencil I'm gonna use. I think I'm gonna go for a unibrow because I don't think I could get a mustache. So let's see what happens. on the spot. Some lovely music and for thank you. Ears as well. I thought it was good. It's a good song. Just getting my Dr. Pepper. Okay, so if you guys don't know what period poverty is, it's basically when someone can't afford or doesn't have access to period supplies when they need it. And part of that and the solution to that is making period products widely available and free for people who need that. So Brooklyn and I have gone to the store, as you might remember yesterday, and grabbed a whole bunch of period products that we could find. Obviously they were in short supply, so we just got what we could, but now we were filling a bin of period products and we are going to put them in bathrooms all day throughout the today and the rest of the trip so that they're free for people who might need them or need access to these or don't have access to these or whatever purpose they might serve. So we're gonna go put these in the gas station bathroom. Fun fact, a lot of states are passing legislation right now to actually make period products free for schools and universities. I know Utah just recently passed that law, so did Hawaii. I think there's about, how many Bailey do we know? About half the states now, 17 or 19 states that have legislation and others also still States that are finally getting rid of the pink tax. So we just need to keep voting and putting, talking about it, putting pressure on legislators to rectify the pink tax and make period products free for everyone. So we're gonna go set this up. I love seeing the faces of people and I'm just like walking around with a giant basket of period products. I'm like, yeah, and you got a problem with that? Something as simple as that can really, really help somebody out. So I hope that helps somebody who needs it. 
Okay, we just found a comment on our very first YouTube video that says, is it on purpose that your mic is called Road? Because that's actually what they call their periods in Denmark. It's a debt road, which means the red. What a weird coincidence. Look at this, this is what their mic is called. It was not on purpose, but I mean, go off. After going through some of your Instagram suggestions, we saw what looked like a really delicious restaurant here in Virginia that we decided to try called The Bee and the Biscuit, which apparently serves mostly breakfast foods and they looked absolutely delicious on Instagram. It's also a very cute restaurant. You'll see when we get in here. Okay guys, this was one of the most re highly recommended items at this restaurant. It's a ginormous shareable cinnamon roll. That's some pretty dang good cinnamon roll right there. Um, this looks phenomenal. Apparently they have a sign that names all of the popular breakfast places in every state, and this one was? One of them, and Hattie B's was another one, so. This was the top one in Virginia. So we are eating at a top restaurant in Virginia, and everyone's food looks good. Yum. Before. All right, and here's the after. Thank this. you to everyone who recommended this. We give it a big old thumbs up. It was delicious. Tomorrow, Jess. We are gonna go put these period products in the bathroom at the restaurant because this restaurant was amazing and all the people here were so nice. And of course we want everyone to have access to period supplies. Nicest people. Virginia, so far you rock. I know, low key, I wanna live here. Low key, <laughs> low key, that was awesome. <laughs> Guys, we lost our RV for a second. <laughs> we just found it again. <laughs> it's kinda hard to lose, like how do you lose an RV? We are headed to go through what is a two mile tunnel. My mom said it was two miles. Fact check her. We're about to go through a very long, tunnel that goes under all this water and we are going to go in it. Uh, we must be really deep. My ears are popping. He's still holding his breath. to Maryland. Maryland sounds like such a beautiful name, so I have high hopes for this state to be like stunning. I wonder who Mary is. Maryland. Mary Land. Maryland. So surely there was a Mary. I don't know if that's why they named it that, but uh, we'll go with it. Anyone know the history on that? Please let us know. We've made it to the boardwalk in Maryland, which we heard was where we needed to go when we visited here. Now the question becomes, what do we want to do? I think that there might be a Ferris wheel, some places to eat, maybe a little beach we can hang out on for sunset. I don't know, we're gonna go check it out and see what we can find. Um, we found ourselves in a theme park. I don't know how we got Kinda here. Kinda looks fun though, maybe we'll stay. Maybe like, we'll stick around. What is this and where are we and why? I'm not mad about it though, I'm not, I'll be honest. It smells like popcorn. We were supposed to be going to a boardwalk. We undershot the boardwalk by like a mile. Yeah. And oh. so we passed the boardwalk. No, undershot. Anyway, um, we are now in the amusement park. I don't know how we got here, but we might as well uh, check things out. Look at that Ferris wheel, holy cow. We are so very, very lost. <laughs> Somehow we ended up in front of a counting an accounting plus. place. <laughs> Anybody need some accounting done? I don't. Um, I do. I did call an Uber because us walking is accomplishing nothing. Well, if anything goes wrong, we could always go to a mini golf course because I think Ocean City is known for its 1,700 mini golf courses. How do you know that fact? Because I've seen them. There's like tons of them everywhere. Should we so... go to the Candy Kitchen? Let's go to the Candy Kitchen. Okay, I was tasked to go to Candy Kitchen. So I got some going. <laughs> oh my gosh. Walking sign. Let's go. <laughs> oh, I'm so close. Okay, here we go. 
Okay, inside the shop is uh, technically more stuffed animals than candy. <laughs> we got some chocolate, some Reese's, some gummy stuff all over there. Over here, we have the longest hissy fit that you've ever seen, the biggest fat hissy fit. I have no idea what that is. We, we are not lost it. anymore. We found it. We found the boardwalk. It is Ocean City, Maryland boardwalk. This it's is where right we intended here. to be. So yeah. I'm glad we found it. the goal. Same outfit. Just flip flopped shirts and shorts. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Ta da! You guys, we found one of those punch bag thingies. And we are about to see who can punch it the hardest. It's probably not gonna be me. Don't go under it, okay, yeah. <laughs> 288, 289. Okay. Go, Bailey, go. I did. Oh <laughs> I missed. I'm, my I hit it off this time. My chart. punch was better. Too. My punch was better. Dang it. Right, camera. So all we're gonna do is, I'm gonna give you 30 seconds to collectively name as many tampon brands as you can. Ready? <laughs> Three, two, one, go! Always, oh my god, I, I don't even know. Like the flawless. Tampon? Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, like, is it like tight. flawless? This is so <laughs> random. I literally, I don't know. Three, we got three. I don't know. Kotex. <laughs> it's like kind on. Okay, time. Good job, guys. <laughs> Does the person's period last? Up to two weeks. Did I just get Two weeks! He might have just got pooped on. Oh! No way! That was an obvious way to say that was the wrong answer. Together, I'm gonna give you guys 30 seconds to name as many tampon brands as you can. Three, two, one, go! No, I have no clues. I only know condom brands. 10 seconds. You have a girlfriend, you have to know this. You have to know this. I don't know. I don't know the brand. I don't know the brand. Let's with a P, man. I feel like there's one with a P. Time. How does a pad work? You like stick it on the, like your underwear lining, and you like, looks like a, you peel it off and you put it. Nice. This beach is almost completely empty. This sand is so soft. This would make for a great place to like sleep if somebody kicked us out of the RV. Anyone from Maryland know why the beach is empty? Because it's stunning and the waves and the water looks perfect so maybe there's something I'm missing. So I'm like pretty sure it's a high tide right now which maybe would make sense like the waves are maybe too crazy for people to see. to walk to shrink to my level. Jeez, look at this. This takes incredible strength. Oh, you I'm know. Right oh, you know. That takes incredible strength. Um, no, but I think it's because it's high tide. I don't know anything about surfing, but pretty sure the waves are crazy right now. So maybe that's why. I, I think Shut I think up. Maryland's my favorite Shut state right up. now. Maryland takes the cake. Maryland takes the cake. The found an ice cream place and we were getting ice cream. I already found Not that there else. weren't like 10 of them, but we just stopped at one of them. We decided to get ice cream. Guys, don't judge me. I dripped ice cream on my shirt. And now it's all over my shirt. Now I look like- We literally like... just did laundry yesterday. I can't wear this anymore. Why is today the theme of being lost? Um, our, lost. our Uber driver 
could not find the entrance to our RV park tonight, so we are taking it on foot. It's only nine o'clock this time. Nine o'clock adventure time at the McKnight's. On our way to find the RV park late at night. Mom, dad, and our uncle went to dinner and we went to the boardwalk. We were supposed to all meet at the RV park. Yeah, they said they left and came here like 20 yeah, minutes ago. Yeah, they said they were here like 20 minutes ago. And then I just get a text from them that says someone's in our spot. So I went to the front desk that got our registration packet. I had this guy drive us to the spot and no one's in the spot. 86 is empty. So then I'm like, like, wait a second. Oh, it's empty. They're at the wrong yeah. RV park. They're at the wrong one. <laughs> That's Somehow spot. they were let in. That's the real mystery. How did they even get in? We are now without Stranded. an RV. We have lost our RV. So, it is gone forever. We've been lost. Our RV's been lost and we ate bad ice cream. And did not, this is crazy. we didn't even get this dinner. Crazy. What a night, what a night. Five minutes later. A little longer than a few minutes later. Eternity later. First a kid got bird pooped on his head right in front of me. And now we're lost. What a day. The RV officially made it. It's been Don't 30 worry, minutes guys. and they're finally here. It's a little bit but we're good. chaotic, but we figured it out. Good thing, good thing the weather's nice. We are freshly showered for the night and ready to see what donations are at. $48,000. Yo. That means we're almost at 50 after two days of vlogging. That's incredible. Hopefully that means that we knock out our $100,000 goal. I am speechless. I am speechless. Yeah, that's crazy. No words. Okay, let's see if we have any verbal donation call-outs today. Oh my gosh, you guys. So we don't have any $5,000 donations today, but so many influencers donated today and it's so amazing. Some of our friends. So I am just really happy with where we ended up and we're almost at our 50,000 goal because of these small and big donations. And don't forget, you can also just subscribe to our channel if you can't afford to donate or don't have an opportunity, or you can just repost the donation link as well. Well, that does something and we love you all so much for donating anything that you can to help this hello you guys it is time for me to go to bed we had a wild day getting lost was not part of the plan but it happened and it was fun i am just astonished by all of our friends rallying behind us the influencers that are donating big it's just so incredible it's such a pen on that note i will say good night and see you guys tomorrow